How to travel long distance with a cat. Method 3. Traveling by plane. 1. Research airline regulations. When booking your flight, be sure to check on all the different aspects of flying with your cat. Ask if the airline allows your cat to travel in the cabin with you or if she'll have to fly below deck in the cargo hold. Some airlines don't allow animals to fly on their airplanes at all. You and your cat may have to take different flights depending on your situation. Flying in a cargo hold can be extremely dangerous for some breeds of cat. For example, it's not recommended for cats with brachycephalic facial structures, or smushed faces, like Persians. Their narrow nasal passages make it difficult to breathe in that area of the airplane. 2. Choose a direct flight and check your ticket information. Try to get a direct flight in order to reduce the length of travel, since transferring and connect flights can take longer. You'll probably also appreciate the faster route. Before takeoff, double check your cat's ticket information to your own. Make sure that every tag attached to your cat carrier is clearly and correctly marked with both your flight and contact information. You should also attach a 24-hour feeding schedule to your cat's carrier. This way, you cat can be taken care of if she's delayed in her travels. 3. Consider using a soft shell carrier. Check with the airline about whether you can carry your cat in a carrier and if it needs to be hard or soft shell. The airline may specify a specific type if your cat has to fly in the cargo hold. In some cases, your cat may be able to fly in the cabin with you. If so, a soft shell carrier will be easier to stow under the seat for takeoff and landing. A hard shell carrier is preferred if your cat is traveling in the cargo hold area. 4. Consider the environment of the cargo hold. If your cat will have to fly in the cargo hold, take her comfort into account. Think about the expected temperature of the area, season, and time of day you are flying. During the warm, summer months, flying early in the morning or overnight is best to beat the heat in the cargo hold. During cold, winter months, flying in the afternoon usually allows for a more comfortable trip. If the temperatures are going to be extreme, many airlines won't allow your cat to fly in the cargo hold. This is another reason why it's important to check with the airline before you fly. Tips Once you've reached your destination, let your cat check out her new surroundings from the safety of her crate. This way she can get a feel for the new sounds and smells of the area. Talking to your cat while you drive or playing soft music can help drown out scary noises produced on busy roads. This can help calm her down if she's anxious about traveling.